Hey guys and gals, this is your host Joe, Life with Yosef. This will be um, uh, May 2024, number one. Um, I'm in Carson City, actually, I'm in Minden. Uh, this will be the opening shot. You're, I'm, I'm not going to put any road footage on. So you're going to see a little bit of film at Jackson Rancheria. You're going to see my usual stop on 88 at the turnout. You're going to see my traditional stop, Cables Lake. And then I'll, I'll follow up with my shot here, sitting outside on a beautiful day in northern Nevada. Good morning, guys and gals. This is your host, Joe, Life with Yosef. I'm not quite sure how I'm editing any of this yet, but I'm at the Jackson Rancheria RV Park. I've stayed here before. I'm going to clip in some uh, bonus of footage. I think I've got two different visits. I'll have to look. Um, this is a really nice place. And they charge $80 a night, which I think is a little bit much. You could see that uh, as I made some of my uh, plans here for the next little bit, I gotta sit down. It's already warm. Um, as I made some of my plans uh, this week, certainly, um, boy, camping and RVing has sure gotten expensive. You know, you see uh, maybe on social media people thinking, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live in an RV because it's cheaper." Well, it can be, but odds are you're in for a big surprise. So, anyway, I'm gonna head up to Carson City this morning. I've got reservations. It's like 480 for a week. Uh, hell, um, I'm gonna see my uh, my brother Paul and my riding bro Rich. We're gonna have some fellowship. I need to clean up in here. The place is a sty. And uh, so we'll we'll see some of this. So here's the uh, the resorts here. Nice. It's not cheap. They have a shuttle to the casino. I'm not going to avail of myself of it today, though I have in the past to eat mainly. Um, so that's the, um, the um, oh, geez, dude, the uh, Jackson Rancheria RV uh, uh, Park Review. I'll clip in some bonus of footage. I'm going to head up the hill, and we'll see what's next. Well, as we're putting up 88 here, California 88, this is one of our traditional stops uh, to take uh, pictures. I'm going to pip in a picture here of me a very, very long time ago. A little fire in the background in the picture of me up many, many pounds ago wearing a shirt with dice on it that I got in Las Vegas on Fremont Street. Here is the uh, lithium uh, KP2. Uh, I'll talk more about this when I get up to Carson. The truck is run just, you know, it's like there's no strain dragging this big beast up the hill. So here's our 360. It's a bit 70 degrees. It's a beautiful day. We're on our way to Carson. How we doing, guys? And here's some other shameless tourists out for a drive. Say uh, <laughs> to you also. I bet you're all retired, huh? Ain't it the greatest thing in the world? Enjoy your day, guys. So we're going to adjourn and we'll see what's next. Our next traditional stop of the day finds us at Caples Lake, which is in Alpine, Alpine County, California. I uh, Somewhere I have a picture of the gravesite of Caples. Uh, I'll have to look up and uh, see uh, a little bit more about the guy. I think I screenshotted it from History Hunters, Jeff and Sarah. I talked about him in the past. Cables Lake. And if there's more to talk about, I'll talk about it on the road footage. And we'll see what's next. It took me about three hours on Wednesday. I really got to figure out a better way. I didn't pr prepare and I'm out of practice. But by the time I got out, out, of the, uh, uh, out of the hideout to go and retrieve KP2, hook up, drag KP2 out, remember how to do the, um, the, um, um, the, the hitch. Oh, God, the um, weight, distributing, uh, weight distribution or anti-sway hitch. It's both. 
Um, actually, I had, to, I had to download a YouTube video, which I'm on board. So now I remember. It's okay. So I get hooked up, and I have to throw some stuff in and some clothes. And I'm putting some food in. Um, I, um, it just, I'm in no hurry, but you know, you, I, I get all hooked up and actually one of the neighbors walked over from across the street and we talked about my wife's uh, passing and such. And so, uh, it probably wasn't a full three hours, maybe two and a half, but I got hooked up. I got out of the park. I drove down Monta Vista to the Chevron station and it's a pretty good size one. So I could, I can fit this in. It's not like a car. And I put like $120 in, in, in the locomotive. I put probably $100, $100 in to, uh, into KP2. It has a gas tank with a nozzle. And I'm going to explain that when I walk around here somewhere along the line, probably here. And I'll explain some of the features about this, um, this uh, lithium by Heartland. Anyway... Um, I get up here and somehow I missed, my brother Paul says, hey, you know, he had already said that he wanted to take my truck because he needed to go pick up something from one of our guy, uh, one of our Hanai in Dublin and then bring it back up here. Well, I missed that he was going to go as soon as I got here. So when I texted him and said, yeah, I'm, I'm here, you know, just to let him know. Well, he said, okay, I'll be right over. And I still didn't pick up on it until he got here and told me, no, this is what I meant. And now if there's a misunderstanding, it's almost always on me because this ADHD is, well, it's an, it, it's an explanation, not an excuse. But sometimes I really miss uh, things. Anyway, so, well, hell, dude, no problem. So, you know, I, I get it all, I get it all uh, picked up and. He leaves his um, he leaves his Subaru and he leaves. Awesome. So I get the rest of this hooked up. Well, you got to do things in order. You got to do things the right way. Certainly uh, hooking up the hitch. You know you got to be doing things in a certain way. Anyway, um, I uh, you you should travel with all the uh, fixtures. You know the the, no, the nozzles in the sink and the shower and stuff. You need those and uh, uh, need to be off. Well, I, I got here and I hooked up the, well, first I checked and okay, but I didn't stick my head in the, I didn't, I didn't check in the shower and that's on me. And I, I hooked the water up and I turned it on and I checked in the, in the kitchen, I checked in the bathroom and I didn't hear the water running in the tub and I had the, the shower curtain closed. So. I'm sitting out here in the garage area on one of the little benches and uh, you know, I'm, I'm picking stuff up and I got a big trash bag and yada yada and I see water on the floor. It's like, holy shit, what the hell? So I run into the bathroom and the, the tub is full and the water's on. It's like, oh, you fucking idiot. So I shut the water off and it's not, it's not draining. It's not draining because the the gray tank, the waste tank for the sink water and the shower. The black tank is the toilet water. They're two different things. Um, so I hook up the uh, uh, I hook up the uh, sewer hose. I drain the uh, I drain the gray tank, and as the, uh, as it flows out of the gray tank, the tub drains. The tub is empty. Then the tank is empty. Okay, I'm good to go. Well, there's water literally running out of the back where the ramp is. So just as I open up the ramp, one of the guys here, one of the maintenance dudes in the little golf cart drives by and I ask him if he has a mop or a squeegee or something to, and he says, I'll be right back. And he comes with a, uh, um, a gigantic shop vac. And uh, I mean, <laughs> this is an industrial one. So I drag it up the ramp and uh, I shot back up all the standing water. It's in the bathroom and it's in the garage area where, you know, the, the kitchen and stuff is. And um, 
I, you know, I really work on it. It's not bone dry, but I get my last, my only two bath towels and I, I kind of mop them up and such. And, um, um, I have the windows open. I can't open the ramp cause it'll hang out into the, uh, into the street here. So you see right behind me, you know, you can't have that. So some people run it over. So it's starting to dry. Everything's drying up. It's arid in northern Nevada. It's a warm day. Okay. After a while, I turn the air on because it's really starting to get a little warm. And uh, remember that the air conditioner dries your air. It dehumidifies. That's why a modern car on the on the windshield or defrost or defogger your air conditioning is running when that's on whether you realize it or not because it's drier air being put on the windows to help defog or defrost them so um uh, uh, this morning i got up i don't smell wet wood there's not a drip of water everything looks fine i may or may not have dodged a bullet you never know but for today there you go so i'm up here till thursday i uh you see where I am here. It's seven minutes. Jeez, I gotta wrap this up. So, I'm here for a few days. Um, I'm gonna text my bro Paul. He's gonna come pick me up. We went to breakfast, but I started to feel really, really bad. He just brought me home, so he's gonna come pick me up. We're gonna go probably to Red's uh, Red's uh, 395 uh, for breakfast or for dinner, and then I, I have an errand that I, I need to help him with. <laughs> I gotta I gotta help him drag out the. Uh, the um, uh, uh, treadmill that he has in in the locomotive we're going to probably watch a little basketball i'll dry back up when i'm done so it'll be a pretty good day i did text my bro rich and let him know i'm up here i lied down so i haven't checked back yet but i'm going to certainly uh, uh, meet up with him as well gotta have fellowship with the people who who are up here who do who do care about me um anyway i think that's it for now this is your host joe life with yosef Enjoy your day. Peace be with you. Uh, May 2024, uh, extravaganza May 2024, number one. There may only be one or two, God, you never know. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Peace be with you. And we'll see you for the next one.